Hi, very good morning. It's Jim from Avstar. You've probably noticed by now or our experience in the beginning of a possibly very large crisis taking place globally. I didn't want to say too much about it um, a couple of months ago, but we did notice. And what's remarkable about this is that it was, when I noticed it, not just the problem contained to the United Kingdom. This is an international problem and I'll tell you where I noticed the problem and gradually getting worse and going back to a couple of months ago was uh, when people started to reluctantly support us. It wasn't because they was upset with anything that we was doing. It was simply because uh, their purse strings were starting to feel the pinch of the oncoming recession which is going to lead inevitably as people now are saying everywhere uh, with regards to these I'm talking about these um, economists they're saying that we are entering into a depression we know what is taking place here in the UK with um, you know the defaults on mortgages car repayments and you know you don't have to be a rocket scientist that when you go into the shop you will notice a considerable increase in the cost of purchasing food. And it goes across the range and we shouldn't be surprised about it really because we knew that when energy costs went up as a result of the directions from the United Nations and the European Union that everything else from that point on would go up. So it has left the observatory in a real um, unusual and uh, never seen before situation not for five or so years even longer than that you know we've never seen so um, little support given and you know we don't blame anyone for that because we understand that this is very difficult times for a lot of people you know I've got friends that are worried about the economic outlook of the next few months and I will say this that if you haven't felt and I believe that most of you have because, you know, we are the real people at the end of the day. Uh, the ones that, you know, keep the world running. Without us, you know, the world doesn't turn round. So what I'm saying is, you know, I've noticed even close friends that have noticed, you know, extortionate costs being added to their life. And they are already in a crisis. So this is something, like I say that couldn't have just been related to the United Kingdom because you know we have people that donate from Australia, Canada, America and all over Europe usually. Small amounts that make up you know um, enough to keep the observatory just ticking over. I've got to say the observatory has never gone you know that far into the green that it's you know got a little bit of rain in the A fund it never has done but you know we've noticed for the last two months a decline in that support and a reason why I didn't mention it before is because I know that mentioning it now is going to make the situation even worse because people are going to say to themselves that would have normally donated well everybody's out everybody else is um, slowing back on the support for the observatory so why not us let's us do the same and of course we know at this point what is going to happen next year at the observatory yeah and uh, we'll just see how where we go from here it's very difficult for me now uh, even with some of the other supporting businesses that I've got because they're small businesses and small businesses like ours uh, in the Clyde Silver uh, market are also feeling you know the reduction of sales in that can you believe as well as well as all the other little businesses in this country and globally you know there is a um, a massive collapse of small businesses right now all around the world and this is going to lead to people not being able to afford the bills uh, you know re repossessions of properties businesses and people being thrown you know into the court system because of their you know uh, inability to pay anymore because now we were we were already in the corner weren't we and now we can't even go any further back in that corner we've got nowhere else to go at the same time global politicians 
have failed to address this, just as they did in 2008. And now this problem has got even bigger and greater and is affecting more people, but they would be more concerned to invest trillions of pounds of taxpayers' money into carbon net zero, something that doesn't even exist. And they would also, rather than help out, people like in those fires in Hawaii, those floods in other countries, rather than send money for the aid and the help and support to those people, they would rather send that money in cash, believe it or not, in containers to countries like the Ukraine and billions of pounds in aid to support that war, as opposed to averting a massive global catastrophe. And this is the sort of people that we should never have had in politics. And now as a result, over the coming months, we are gonna see the repercussions of that. You know, to some degree, it was our own fault because we allowed these fat cats to continue in their greed, you know, stealing the taxpayers' money, misdirecting the taxpayers' money instead of infrastructure, better healthcare, hospitals, um, you know, well-being for people, emergency money funding, what they invested in was nothing more than a pipe dream so that they could steal more money and it's gonna come back on those people and I can't wait for that moment because when there is no people working at the bottom, then what good is it if you've got all the money in the world at the top? And when society really starts to collapse, they're gonna be wondering, should we have taken so much out of the system and left it neglect for so long? because I fear that that is what's coming next. You know, I do like to, to, to think of myself as an out-of-the-box thinker, someone that looks at alternatives to the way normal people do about situations. And I think that what's coming next is like, you know, the economists have been predicting, and I believe that these governments around the world are gonna let this time it collapse. And so for that reason, you know, over the years that we've been asking people to prepare, you know, put a little aside for a rainy day in terms of food, you know, other preparations, I'm just hoping now that you did do a little because soon you're going to be faced with an opportunity to reap the benefits of those little insurance policies of having a bug out bag, having a food storage, um, in times of crisis where money is not coming in frequently enough. If you found yourself tomorrow on the streets with your family and you've got a bug out bag, you know, go to hell with the government. If you need to keep your family warm and that requires you to light a fire, do it. If you need to go to the local parks and erect an emergency tent and light a fire, do it. Go to hell with these people that have put millions of people in the poverty house over the last few years. And I can see them losing control. All is they're interested in right now is supplying Ukraine with bombs, missiles and bullets. And what, what, what are they actually achieving? Nothing but murder, death and destruction. You know, if we go to the Bible, what does it tell us? To know those people, judge them by their works. These are wicked, murderous bastards, nothing short, that have waxed their own families rich, foolishly not seeing what would come next. You know, what, what we've seen here is like, you know, the only way I can um, ex explain it is like on a micro scale of a government. If the government are behaving on a micro scale of a, fa a simple family, that cannot budget the money so that they are not living beyond their means. Our governments have been living way beyond their means. In the UK, we brought two, uh, we purchased uh, the production of two aircraft carriers, the Queen Elizabeth class. As soon as the first one was built, they benchmarked the second one because they couldn't afford to run two aircraft carriers of the same class. You know, yet billions of pounds have been spent on this. Billions of pounds have been spent on over-budgeted 
um, projects like HS2, the high speed railway that they're building in the UK. That will only get people 15 or 10 minutes earlier to the destination. I would not pay an extra £20 for the ticket so that I could arrive 10 minutes earlier. I'd rather take a sandwich onto that train and take the slow one and enjoy the sandwich and a coffee and enjoy that extra 10 minutes of not having to rush round. It has been the biggest waste of money, just like carbon net zero. Addressing a problem that doesn't even exist. I've been over it with you guys and I've showed you all the facts relating to that. When they allowed energy prices to double and triple, everything from that point on was the fuse that was lit for the explosion which we are about to witness with regards to global economy. I'm not joking. You are going to see millions of people lose their homes, millions of people lose their jobs. And this, I mean, what comes next? You tell me. Because we know when people have lost everything, they lose it. Is it fair for anyone in the system today to lose everything that they've worked for because of the mismanagement of governments around the world? Because of their crazy, squanderous pipe dreams that they invest in? You know, they're going after freedom of speech because they know what they're doing is completely apparent and wrong and immoral. And that's why they want to go after mainstream media because they've lost the grips of, sorry, that's why they want to go after alternative media sites like TikTok, uh, Instagram, um, Facebook. Well, it's not so much Facebook because we know Mark Zuckerberg is a cocksucking CIA informant. He is. He is working for the CIA. They've even applauded him. Thank you. When you, when you brought Facebook to us, you know what? We didn't just find out who the criminals were, but we also found out the network of friends that they've got because they added the friends' photos. Do we know what Mark Zuckerberg, the likes of Mark Zuckerberg are? They're going after Elon Musk right now because what they don't like is he doesn't conform. He doesn't want to silence people. And he turned round to the Ukraine and said, you're not using my Starlink system so that you can kill people. I'm having nothing to do with that. Now, America's governments are going after Elon Musk because of this. Because he, because of his situation and his position in the current market and being a, a billionaire, is able to manipulate wars. And America's military industrial complex don't like that. They don't like the fact that just because he owns these things, that now he is able to influence them. What they want Elon Musk to do is hand over the Starlink to the Ukrainians so that they can use it for GPS targeting bombs and missiles. That's what they want him to do. And he said no. And because he said no, they're on his back now. It's like we've heard that rumble which is spo I'm so glad now I never invested much time into Rumble because I can see what's going to happen with Rumble. Rumble's going to be going the same way as everywhere else. The UK government are on the back. They're saying you're broadcasting the UK and for that reason you're going to comply with us because otherwise we're going to see you as a danger to the public and it is our job to protect the public. But what they will be protecting the public from is nothing. What they will be doing to the general public is reducing the ability to express thoughts, ideas and speak freely about whatever topic they so wish and choose. That is the only way and the only reason why they want to shut down platforms if they don't comply. They don't want you to go to alternative sources for truth what they want you to you know absorb on a daily basis is more of their nonsense more of their lies across all their particular ranges which they drive through the mainstream media
And they have lost the mainstream media at the moment, the attention of the general public. That's a big thing for a government to do, is to lose the trust of its people and then lose the communications to them. Because you can't peddle your propaganda if you can't communicate with them. People aren't switching on to mainstream media because we know that whatever comes out of mainstream media is directed propaganda from the governments around the world. We've seen Joe Biden talking about Elon Musk and how wrong it is. We've seen other American politicians talking about you know, how they want to shut down the digital freedom of information. You know, we are back in the 1920s. I mean, for God's sakes, for God's sakes, guys, within the last week, we have had Justin Trudeau, the Canadian Prime Minister, applauding a Nazi. Does that not bring it home to what's going on in this world? We have Justin Trudeau saying that the truckers were Nazis and in the next minute within his parliamentary building he is applauding a real, a real Nazi. I just wonder how Israel view Canada right now after witnessing that. I just wonder how the Jewish population wit uh, 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 you know, see Canada right now. Because that is surreal. Can you believe that those politicians were applauding a real bona fide Nazi? And, you know, when you go after the information that is being put out on the social networks, then, you know what? It's all out in the open, isn't it? We now see them for what they are. They're burning the literature like there was in the 20s. They are up to the necks in war and murder. They're back. Should it really have come a surprise to us? We know that you know human beings are addicted to cycles. What, what are we going to see next? Which country is going to build the next Auschwitz? And are we all now the modern Jews? Are we all the ones that are going to be loaded up onto these trains? When the economy collapses and the military infrastructure takes over? You know, what a great state. And this is why I said to you, get the hell out of cities as fast as you can. If you'd have listened to me a year ago, you'd have made 6% more on your property than what you will do now. If you, you know what, I'm not giving you financial advice here. I can't do that. You know for legal reasons why I can't do that. But if you leave it any longer, you know, the risk of that 6% turning into 25%, 30%, 50% or a total loss from this point on just exponentially increases because if you think that the problems of the world will be resolved in a matter of weeks from this point on now then that is a lovely thought but the reality of that being possible is so far away in the distance it is unlikely the troubles that we are in right now are going to take years to resolve and that means years of suffering they haven't invested in small companies they've watched small businesses go by the way you know with the recent pandemic sent businesses at a colossal rate under i heard such terrible things you wouldn't believe people before the pandemic had just managed to get themselves in almost a comfortable position and you know the business was just showing signs of you know becoming very successful the pandemic came and destroyed it all this happened to tens of thousands of people all around the world guys you know this time we're in right now is really serious and you know we will see more darker days than today even it would be great if a few more people you know could chip in and support what we do but uh you know i don't know whether the i have to say this i don't know if the writing is on the wall for this observatory at this point faced with all what we are we should have more support than ever now 
but sadly we got less and that is because of the restrictions that have been put on us about what we can talk about leading to us having to self-censor ourselves here at the observatory and then you know the current global economic outlook you know putting pressure on you guys I'm afraid everything does slow down there is a link down there if you want to help support I really hope that you know out of the 60 some thousand people we can muster up a little bit of support for this observatory and keep it going because we are in times now of ever more need for it so what I usually do you take care of your loved ones as always bye for now